Archangel Michael, becoming a soul-infused personality. Transmitted through Rana Herman, October 2014. Archangel Michael. Beloved Masters, your God Seed Adam, I Am Presence is your original core intelligence, your first individualized identity within a universal or sub-universal experience. Within this sub-universal experience, your first 12 God Sparks soul fragments contained all the virtues, aspects, talents, and knowledge you would need to traverse the multiple levels, dimensions, within this sub-universe. Since that time, your God Seed Atom Essence has refracted and separated innumerable times. You are now in the process of reclaiming all the multiple facets of your soul self within the third fourth dimensions so that you may move forward to a greater, more dynamic, and expansive version of your higher self within a fifth dimensional environment. To assist you in accomplishing this, your Diamond Core God Cell and your personal Flower of Life Creator will contain a full measure of the twelve rays of God Consciousness for this sub-universal experience. They were designed so that when you were ready to begin the return journey into the higher levels of consciousness, you would have access to your own full spectrum divinity. Your task is to activate these rays, to incorporate the God qualities and attributes they contain, and then to use these qualities and attributes for the greatest good. There is still much confusion as to what the soul is, how it functions, and where it resides. It is vital that you understand the intricate process of reconnecting with the many facets of your higher self. It is also important that you gain clarity about the more in-depth teachings we have given you regarding the multiple higher self fragments, you have many, not just one, and the process for incorporating these multiple facets of self. Therefore, we feel it is time for an advanced explanation of this most important process for the evolution of the soul. In order to do so, you must expand your capacity for love light so that it includes all facets of creation upon the earth, love of nature, love of the animal kingdom, love for humanity, love for your perceived enemies, and most important, love of self. For in essence, all of creation is a part of you, and you are a precious white fire seed atom of the Supreme Creator. The expansion of God consciousness results in an expansion of your auric field your light radiance. Over time, more and more of you will develop a radiance so powerful and expansive that it will begin to have a positive effect on those around you and eventually, on the earth and all humanity. Quite a large number of the more advanced souls have already gained this ability. However, you must remember, you cannot convey that which you have not claimed as your own. Also, remember this, an important part of your mission on earth is to intensify the light of the lower dimensions. Expansion of soul consciousness results in an expansion of the auric field, both in intensity and scope of influence. An aspirant on the path must focus on both outer and inner world training. You must strive to become a conscious observer of what is taking place around you. Training yourself to become fully engaged with focused awareness of the physical events in everyday life is vitally important, as well as learning to process the harmonious and the discordant frequency patterns to which you are subjected. You must then take the appropriate action. Practicing emotional and mental discipline is also very important as you seek to become a master of self. You must not turn your back on the world and life's experiences, but face them head on. However, it is vital that you learn to view life from a higher vantage point. Endeavor to see the bigger picture and not get entangled in the small story dramas. Logic is a function of the physical mental body and your mind. Remember, the knowledge or theories you accept as your own truth must be experienced in order to gain the wisdom from the disclosed information. Inspiration is supplied by the higher self and your sacred mind. You must learn to pay attention to the impulses of your sacred mind and sacred heart or to the input of the prevailing facet of your higher self, for that is how you will gradually learn to communicate with the beings of the higher realms and gain cosmic wisdom. In the beginning, there was communication within amongst specialized, group spiritual guides and guardians, however, over time this gift or ability was lost. As humanity sank deeper into material world consciousness, they became submerged in the sensations of the five senses, and they gradually stopped turning inward for the sense of connection with the higher realms of consciousness. The lower third, and fourth dimensions are not bright and clear. There is a misty or foggy overlay. Those souls existing in this environment do not realize this, 
for it is the state of awareness they are accustomed to. The reality of the lower third fourth dimensions could be likened to existing within a murky labyrinth where you are forever seeking the path that will lead you back into the pure light of awareness. This fog gradually begins to dissipate as you move into the mid-sub-levels of the fourth dimension, and your world becomes lighter and brighter as you traverse each higher sub-level. In order to receive the lessons of light, you must lift your consciousness to attune to, at least, the fifth sub-level of the fourth dimension. In this sub-universal experience, there are seven sub-levels to each dimension, with the first sub-level being the lowest and densest and the seventh sub-level the highest and most refined. The masters and your guides are willing to meet you halfway, however, only on very rare occasions will they lower their frequencies into the density of extreme duality, for it is too uncomfortable for them. The ego is a facet of the physical ego personality self, it was designed to assist you in developing a sense of identity and individuality over time. An outward focused mind is guided by the ego. The misdirected ego self was instrumental in creating the illusional belief system of the material plane, a reality based on separation, fear, selfishness, and scarcity. As you expand your mental horizons, you begin to break down the barriers of self-limiting perception. Mind expansion includes activating dormant cells of the upper dimensional levels of the brain and tapping into the wisdom of your sacred mind. Blind obedience is not a requisite for enlightenment for you are striving to become a master of self and to live your personal truths as they have been revealed to you and validated by your heart monitor. Humanity is in the midst of a soul and cellular awakening. As you move into the vibrational patterns of the higher fourth and lower fifth dimensions, your cells, etheric body and auric field will begin an accelerated purification process. This process will facilitate and ultimately result in the downloading of the many facets of your higher self and the gradual reclamation of your body of light. Be mindful and aware every moment so that your focus becomes one-pointed and clear. You will gradually develop a sense of self-assurance and security, a knowing that all is well and that it will remain so. The soul is a many times, refracted extension of your God Seed Adam, I Am Presence. The soul uses the right brain consciousness of intuition, which is connected to the higher sacred mind and spiritual will. An inner focused mind is guided by the soul self. Humanity is in the process of developing the subtle, refined senses which have become dulled from misuse. You must move past the basic, often distorted physical senses, while diligently endeavoring to develop the higher mental senses of intuition and divine wisdom. It is of vital importance that you learn to control your emotional nature and to hold your thoughts steadily on the light. You carry within your diamond core god cell a crystalline, memory seed atom of full self-realization from your point of origin. It contains a very brief overview of the highlights of every life you have ever lived, the major lessons you have learned, and the talents you have perfected as you journeyed throughout this universe. The soul is neither spirit nor matter. It is a crystalline sacred fire, memory seed atom, a fragment of pure light essence that is programmed to record your journey throughout this sub-universal experience. It is the link between you and our Father Mother God and, ultimately, to the Supreme Creator. Your personal soul self, for this lifetime, resides within your sacred heart as a facet of your diamond core God cell. Each higher frequency facet of your soul has its own memory seed atom. When a given facet takes up residency within your soul star as your oversoul, it will gradually relay its personal vibrational pattern memories to the memory seed atom within your diamond core god cell and also to your embodied soul self. First, it will activate the appropriate memory seed crystals within your sacred mind. As your frequencies expand to accommodate them, the memory seed crystals held in reserve within your diamond core god cell will be activated. In this way, as you incorporate all of your soul fragments, you will eventually gain the ability to access all of the wisdom, talents, positive memories and experiences of the next phase of evolution the journey of the soul self through the multi-levels of the fifth dimension. This process repeats itself over and over again as you traverse the multidimensional levels of God consciousness and incorporate more and more facets of your divine self. You were programmed to forever seek the sacred heart of your essence your diamond core god cell, and your crystalline seed atom of creator essence. At specially timed intervals there have always been small groups of special, 
unique beings who incarnated into the different races and sub-races, and who brought forth fresh ideas, instilled new qualities and attributes. These advanced beings interjected their wisdom, higher consciousness and special talents by example, and they also merged physically with select members of the human species in order to advance the DNA encodings of humanity. You are living in one of those special times. The fourth dimension could be called a transitional reality, for this is where you begin to let go of all the preconditioning of the past. The fourth dimensional realm is more emotional in nature, and therefore, the heart and feeling nature are the major focus. The ancients called the fourth dimension the realm of Maya or illusion, or the astral planes of consciousness. The collective mass consciousness of humanity fills the lower three levels of the fourth dimension, and this is where most of humanity exists mentally until they gradually begin to turn inward and listen to the nudging of their soul self. The personality ego desire body is the master manipulator of this realm, and it constantly urges one to seek more satisfaction and happiness via sensation and external means of gratification. You begin to tap into your inner power potential as you move into the higher sub-levels of the fourth dimension. Matter becomes more fluid, and therefore, it becomes easier to manifest what you desire. That is why you must learn to be decisive and to focus your thoughts with clear intention. A disciplined mind links the chains of thought together in proper order. It is vitally important for you to understand that scattered thoughts are detrimental to your progress. Living in the present moment in the now moment is a critical component in attaining self-mastery. Mental effort is required in order to successfully traverse the path of illumination. Gradually, a good portion of your memory of past events will begin to fade as you move out of the realm of the instinctual brain mind into the realm of the higher mind. Important traits of a self-master are focused observational abilities and harmlessness in thought, word, and deed. As an aspirant on the path, greater and greater cosmic truths will be revealed to you. However, you should be aware that the lesser principles of ageless wisdom will constantly be expanded to incorporate the unique rules, laws, and truths of the next level of existence in the never-ending cycle of ascension in consciousness. You must keep the channel of communication open between the soul and the brain via the mind. This initiates the slow reactivation process of the pineal gland and the opening of the portal to the sacred mind, which is located at the upper, back portion of the brain, close to the crown of the head. The sacred mind resonates to the highest fourth dimensional sublevels as well as all of the fifth and the sixth dimensional levels, with a small portion of seventh dimensional frequencies data which are reserved for future use when you have gained the ability to traverse the highest levels possible for humanity in this sub-universal experience. However, you must gradually increase your own vibrational patterns in order to tap into this storehouse of cosmic wisdom. The sacred mind and the sacred heart are not made of material world matter, they consist of gossamer, ethereal light substance that cannot be detected via scientific means. However, they are more real than any part of your physical body. For once you re-establish the connection between your sacred mind, your sacred heart, and your diamond core god cell, there will be a constant flow of adamantine particles, as well as pertinent, advanced information coming from within your memory seed atom and also from your oversoul higher self. That is why it is so critical that you reconnect the spiritual triad of god consciousness, the sacred mind, the sacred heart and all the facets of your diamond core god cell. As you move into the vibrational patterns of the fifth dimension, your cells, etheric body, and auric field will begin an accelerated purification process. Tranquility begins in the lowest level of the fifth dimension and strengthens exponentially. Gaining godly power and wisdom requires that you move beyond the massive belief patterns of the collective consciousness of humanity into attunement with your cosmic consciousness via the many facets of your higher self. Emotional stability and mental effort are required in order to successfully traverse the path of illumination. There is a law of equilibrium that applies to the fifth dimension and above. Briefly, the sixth dimension is the dimension of immortality and a greatly expanded soul consciousness as you reconnect with the highest levels of your soul potential within this sub-universe. The seventh dimension is the final evolutionary boundary for humanity within this round of sub-universal experience. The first sub-level, the lowest in frequency, of the eighth dimension is the infinity gateway, 
which you will be able to tap into as you gain the ability to integrate more and more of the higher frequencies. A trickle-down effect is initiated as you gain the ability to access each higher frequency level, whereby minuscule amounts of more refined god light begin to flow into your personal column of light, thus adding light to your auric field and to the vibrancy of your soul song. Remember, my brave ones, you are living in the midst of eternity. The wisdom messages we bring you are not to set more rules or create new dogma. Our intention is to set your hearts afire with love and to give you a glimpse of the glorious future before you. I will guide, direct, inspire and protect you, and I radiate the eternal love of our Father Mother God to each of you. I am Archangel Michael.